not going to do business with Huawei. Uh, Huawei represents a national security risk. The ban on Huawei was one of the biggest problems that Huawei has faced in history. And I am pretty certain that if Huawei had competed alone against one of the biggest market, which is United States of America, it would have lost way before even start. But as I told you, the Chinese government started backing up Huawei. Still, there are a lot of projects going on in which the Chinese government itself is giving a lot of funds to Huawei. And the thing is, I was thinking the government is only helping Huawei in making chipsets, but the help is not limited to the hardware side, but on the software side too. With that said, a new report on this matter tells us that Huawei seems to be getting full support from the Shenzhen government to boost to the Harmony OS growth as well, which is Huawei's own software ecosystem. A new piece of information depicts that the Chinese authorities plan to speed up Harmony OS expansion across various industries in 2024. But according to the details, the Shenzhen municipal government aims to boost the counts of Huawei Harmony OS Next based native apps and their adoption among major departments. The authorities published a new report in 2024 action plan on this subject which says that several sectors including education, medical fields, enterprises, banking and even transport should soon adopt to the Harmony OS based native applications. It further notes to account for at least 10% of the total Harmony OS apps in mainland China by the end of 2024. In simple words though, the government wants at least 10% of the total apps used in China should be from Huawei's Harmony OS native application system. Well, that would be a major blow to all of the other big joints in China because the government wants people to adopt Harmony OS apps in mainland China by the end of 2024. On the other hand though, the Shenzhen government will set up Harmony OS developer courses alongside two new industrial parks to build new and innovative products based on the Harmony OS. It will promote Harmony OS native app development training as well. So this act of Huawei and the Chinese government will completely eliminate the use of Apple's iOS and even Android in the Chinese market. Apple is already struggling to hold its position in the Chinese market as according to the latest report via counterpoint research, Apple iPhone sales are seeing a double digit decline in the China with a 24% drop. Well, this is not the first time the iPhone failed to impress consumers and for now, the company is standing in the fourth place in the market. And Huawei on the other hand is rapidly improving. So what do you think? Is that act of the Chinese government is scary or not? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, the story continues and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.